Ladies and boys and girls, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a clean simple motion graphic in Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, let's create a new sequence. Go to new item, sequence, in the settings, 1080, horizontal by 9020, vertical, hit OK. Next, let's bring in some visuals to work with. Drag that PNC onto your timeline. Now let's set the stage with a clean background. Go to new item, color mat, and choose a sharp white color. Drop it below your PNG layer. Time to get creative. Select your PNG layer, hit your effect controls, and under opacity, grab the rectangle mask tool, draw a mask around your image. Check the inverter box and crank up the mask feather for a soft, dreamy edge. Let's give that image some depth. In the FS panel, search for drop shadow. And apply it to your PNG. Tweak the direction, opacity and softness to make it pop without overdoing it. Now let's bring in that cloud video. Place it above the color matte layer. Then adjust the position and scale in effect controls to fit perfectly. Here's where it gets fun. Grab the rectangle shape tool, hold down the mouse and switch to the ellipse tool. Draw a circular shape and place it below your PNG layer. Scale it up to the size you want. And change its color to a bold dark navy blue for that modern vibe. Let's use a cool trick. Apply the track mat key effect to the circle shape. Make sure your cloud video is above the circle layer in the timeline. In effect controls, set the mat to the video track where your cloud video leaves, which is in this scenario, video 3. And change composite to mat luma. Look at that, your clouds are now perfectly framed. Let's add two more circles for extra flare. Now I'm going to add a two more circles. Let me place this cloud video over here. Remember, you need to change the mat to where the cloud video is currently placed, which is video 5. Let me create a copy of this shape layer by holding Alt key or Option key on Mac and drag it on top. Let me adjust the scale and position. Create another copy and place this over here. Let's animate them. For the big circle, set a scale keyframe as 0%. Scale it up to 100%. Let's add some scale effects in here. Select both keyframes, right click and choose continuous base here for smooth animation. For the circle circle, set position keyframes start on the left Move to the right Repeat for the third circle but move it from right to left.
Apply continuous base to R for that butter smooth motion. Select this drop down arrow and tweak the graph editor. Play with it until it feels just right. Time to add some tests. I'm using the Mr. Host plugin, it's free, and I will drop the link in the description below. Go to Window, Extensions, Premiere Composer, select a test animation from the starter pack, and I'm going to select this test animation and click Add. In the dialog box, type your test, tweak the font, size, and set the color to a bold black. Position it where it looks best. To extend the test, cut the test layer. Place the playhead, right click and add a frame hold. Extend the layer and delete any extra bits. Now for the grand finale, a cable car. Drop a cable car PNG onto the timeline and zoom in slightly. Use the pen tool and opacity to create a mask around the car. Place it above all layers. To add cables, import the cable car PNG again, use the pen tool to mask just the cable. Uncheck fill, check stroke. Set the color to black and adjust the stroke size to 1. Make 4 copies of this cable layer. Tweak their position. And nest them together.
the nested cable layer might not match the cable car's length, so duplicate it and adjust. Place the cable car. Set the position keyframe. Move a few frames forward and slide it all the way to the left. Apply a new base here for smooth motion. Select both the color and the cable layers, move them to the top of the timeline and nest them together. Adjust the position in effect controls for final tweaks. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls, you have just created a stylish motion graphic in Premiere Pro. Before you go, I just launched a second YouTube channel where I post short gripping crime stories. If that's your thing, check out the link in the description and maybe hit that subscribe too. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.